All right, guys, welcome to the Klipsch THX room here at the Grid Hi-Fi. We're going to let you guys know all about the ins and outs of this room, give you a couple demos, and I'll also talk about the different features, and possibly figure out what's going on with this lady, why she looks so scared. We're going to find out right after the intro. All right, guys, let's go ahead and show you this real quick. Right up front, this is what's behind the screen. This is a, what, what was the size of the screen in this room? 157. This is a 157 Slate 1.2 MicroPerf screen. So now um, with this, or actually acoustically transparent, you can't say MicroPerf, patent, pen, and trademark, trademark Ricky Bobby Inc. But this is the, uh, the Klipsch BTS 122. This is a phenomenal system. I've actually listened to a couple different demos in here already. Um, we've also tuned the, the, the trend off processing in here as well. But the first and foremost, just the statement that this thing makes is just incredible. So you're gonna have your LCR in here and then the strafing it is, is gonna be your subwoofers. So let's go ahead and start at the top. So these are three inch compression <laughs> drivers, titanium drivers with your track tricks, 90 by 60 um, wave guides. So really, really cool design there. And then going into your mid bass driver you have right in the middle, this is a 15, uh, 15 inch mid bass driver with a three inch voice coil. You also have your track tricks ports down here for venting your entire system. And then like I was talking about, that's for the LCR. And then in between those, we have your 18 inch drivers for your subwoofers. These are 1000 watts RMS, and then they go up to 4000 watts peak each. So these are the only subwoofers that you'll actually see in this room, which are pretty, pretty incredible. Um, and to be honest, <laughs> you don't need much more bass than this. We, we, we've tested the system to the rails, and uh, to be honest, it's, it, it, it sounds great the way it is. So we have four ports to, to ease on the design instead of having one massive port so that your screen would be shaking. So they make that this is a design feature in there as well. Pretty, pretty simple system. Whenever I was uh, finagling this one, I was actually cleaning it because it's a little bit, uh, a little bit dirty being back here. But uh, everything that you touch on here feels professional. So whether it goes from the waveguide to the actual box itself, this is some pro grade gear. And I was talking to Eddie and he was saying that these things are pretty deep too. So if you're gonna be considering these things a behind the screen system, you're going to wanna figure out one, what your screen size is gonna be, two, if your room dimensions will be able to accommodate this. Cause this is pretty deep. You will have to build out a baffle wall to basically build this thing off of your wall. You're not gonna be able to set this in the wall like, like normal clip speakers, right? So this will be a, a, a room consideration, but I think the way that it turns out is pretty cool. So I think that's all we got for this part. We're gonna start talking about the, some of the parts, the rest of the parts of the system. We're gonna do it in just a second. All right, guys, so we're going into evening mode over here. The screen is getting covered up. The Screen Innovations 157 slate screen, obviously behind there is gonna be the the Klipsch BTS 122 system. This is the room that we're talking about. So this is a 15 wide by 25 foot deep room. It's actually a little bit bigger than what you think it is too because in that closet is kind of a storage closet. And then right back here behind the screen, if you guys were paying attention earlier, there's a salamander cabinet down below. So basically as far as you can stick your hand in through there to the wall, that's how deep the, the speakers are. So in here we have some really, really nice seats. We also have the Epson 60 50 projector. This thing fills up that one, that 157 screen very, very well. So highly recommend this thing for bigger types of projection. If you guys are going for more quality, for like more color pop, more sharpness, stuff like that, obviously JVC and Sony are options for you as well. We have the Klipsch THX line of speakers in here. Highly, highly recommend you guys check these things out if you guys haven't seen these already. These are easily some of my favorite in-wall speakers. Why you ask? Because they have a back box with them. So the back box basically helps with keeping the sound in your room itself versus having the, the sound bounce around in between the rafters or into the, the room next to you or behind you. So that's the reason why I like those a whole lot. We have the, this full configuration is a 9.2.4. Two subwoofers are gonna be in the front, nine speakers on the, the walls and in the LCRs up there as well. And then we have our Atmos speakers up here. So like I was talking about, these are really, really good because they do have the back boxes. If you guys have never heard these things, these are more recommended for a second floor or maybe some place that has an attic if you guys do have a first floor because these are very, very tall, right? So you, you, you can't see it right here, but if, if I pop off this panel, you know, you'd be able to see how far that thing goes back into there. So it's a really, really tight dynamic speaker 
but the problem is, is with these, you need a little extra space to, to get them, you know, in, installed properly. In the back, we have the 8,000 S's, and then on the sides, we have the 8,000 L's for the, uh, the Klipsch THX line. And then we have a couple other amps back here. We have full turn-off processing. We also have a Macintosh amplifier. The 303. Turn off altitude 32. And then we have some Marantz over here for amplification for the entire system. So in the front, you're gonna be coming with, uh, you can actually do whatever amplification you want in the front, but we're doing crown amps for the BTS series in here right now. So that's pretty much the room in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and give you guys some demos. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up from the Clips room out here at the Grid Hi-Fi. Um, really, really enjoyed this one. If you guys haven't checked this stuff out before, it is easily some of the best stuff you could, that, that, that you can get. And the cool thing is that it's got handed this tidbit of information is that if you like the Clips sound, if, if you guys like movies, right? If you've ever been watching movies in the last like 10, 15, 20 years, big chances are you probably experienced a Clips system at, a, at, at your commercial cinema. 51% of the, the, the cinema is actually gonna be Clips. Some of them are going to be privately owned as well as you have your JBLs are going to be in the market as well. But the behind the, the behind the screen system is something that I would definitely recommend that you guys check out. It has trickle down technology, all the things that they learned in the field, you know, in, in the commercial field, given, you know, great, magnificent action filled movies to you guys to actually trickle that down into something that's more scalable to your room size. And like I was talking about, this is the big dog. This is the 122. They have a 112 and a 102. So depending on what screen size that you have are gonna be the footprint of the speakers behind the screen. Um, and you know, you can mix and match. You can talk to the guys here and they'd be happy to help you out which one would be right for you. But if you guys are actually building a performance cinema in your house and you want some incredible sound, this is definitely the way to go. Again, I love the Klipsch THX speakers and the in walls and the in ceilings. The back box helps out so much with actually delivering the, the, the detail and dynamics into the room itself. And uh, the overhead ones, I, I can't say enough about those. I really, really love these things. The only caveat I would say is the little asterisk have a deep, deep ceiling or a deep roof to, to actually put these things in or a second floor with attic space because they are a little deeper. So um, just, just keep that in mind. But the, the difference that you will have, the, the Delta is actually massive because you get so much more dynamics come out of these things, especially whenever they're nice and, uh, nice and positioned overhead. It, it makes all the difference. But that's all I got for you guys. This, this was a really cool experience coming out here, checking out this system. Um, I've, I've checked out a couple demos in here and I've actually done a little bit of tweaking on the, the trend off as well to, to boost up some of the bass in here. But Besides that, this is a really, really cool system, and I think that you guys should come and check it out in person if you guys are so inclined. But uh, if you guys want any of this stuff, you guys can check us out online. We are there 24-7, gridhifi.com. Or if you'd like, you guys can pick up the phone, give us a call. We'd be happy to earn your business. You guys can talk to Ryan. You guys can talk to Eddie. You guys can talk to me. We'd be happy to help you out and guide you in your hi-fi and home theater journey. But that's all I got. If you guys want to give this video, video a big thumbs up, that really helps get this video seen as much as possible. Make sure you guys subscribe right over here. I'm posting this on my channel as well as the Grid Hi-Fi channel. Go ahead and give them some love right over here. See you next time. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah.